Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got a cool new settlement mod here. This is the Adam Cots the Adam Cat's Garage settlement. So obviously the Adam Cat's Garage is one of the more famous locations in Fallout 4 because it's got actually interesting and unique NPCs here. Um, but now this one makes it into a settlement. Now we have to complete their quest first, so I'm gonna do that on camera so we can make sure. Hey, I saw you over there, Gavin with Zeke. What's the story? I'm here to help. Here to help. Tops from the looks of it? I'd say boss man thinks you have a little Adam cat in you. Wants all rowdy to see if you have what it takes to shack up with. So we have to join the Adam cats in order to unlock the thing. I have it. I have what it takes. We'll see. I've been putting off hauling myself over the ponds of work for this, but now you get to do it. This here's something I've been fixing up. Part of the pump system at work. Thing was clogged up like Zeke after one too many cans of cram. I want you to go to the pump shed there and install it. Okay, no problem. No problem. The work folks might be squares, but they are nice enough. We help them out with our skills. They give us food. Works out real nice. Oh, and uh, make sure to let June Warwick know when you're done. She's the bird in charge around there. Okay, so we're gonna go do that quest. I will come back to the video once I've completed the quest. Obviously, the end of this quest has to go a certain way, but you guys probably know how this quest goes already. I just want you guys to know we have to start the quest, then we'll get the settlement. I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, I wanted to pick it back up here with you guys. We completed the quest by going over and fixing the water pump, talking to the lady. Now we should just talk here, and it should be set up to go. <clears throat> All done. Yep. Yep. You're gonna have to give me something harder than that. That was just the first test, Buster. Don't get big-headed. <laughs> that place was a real dump, huh? Thanks for taking care of our business there. June sends her thanks. That June is a doll, and her Myra cakes are the most far-out thing I have ever tasted. Just so you know, I will be checking your work. The cats won't take credit for shoddy craftsmanship. So she had the skills to spiff up the Warwick pump. <laughs> Should we rustle her jimmies with something else? We got gunners coming in gunners. hot. This is like, I believe I remember right, the end part of the quest. I haven't done the Adam Katz quest in a long time. Fuck you. I a gun out of those already. What is that gunner got going on? Are they like glowing eyeballs? Like, what are we doing? Is some kind of armor that I don't know about? Yeah, it is. Mods, man. Okay, gunners. More gunners. More gunners. Because that car's gonna go boom. Please, Adam Cat's trying not to die. Okay? Now, obviously, there's a big old attack sequence here. You have to do, like, I'm showing off to get to deal with this. You know, you're gonna have to, to get the settlement going. Which makes sense. You'd have to do the, the quest here. Now, I, I don't know how exactly well you have to do the quest, but... Jesus Christ. Is that it? Talk to Zeke. Hello, Zeke. I have killed the gunners. I have done the things. I did it. Can I be an Adam Cat now and I can I help you build a garage and do the cool things? <clears throat> gunners! Those wet rags keep trying to get their mitts on our suits. You do? Ho ho ho! You slave! Because of you. We didn't lose a didn't single. lose a single cat. I'm so good. It was no big deal. No. You, you are out of sight, and a friend of the cats in my book. You have full reign of our digs, and uh, you know I can get you hooked up with a little discount around here. Yeah. Finally, the holy grail for anyone who knows what's cool in the Commonwealth. Your very own Adam Katz Jack. Very cool. Wear it well, Jack. So, you can now use the workshop because that's part of... The, it makes sense. Like, the way he even talks about it, like, as you complete the quest, he's like, Oh, yeah, you can use our stuff. You can't actually use your stuff without this mod installed. But this mod just makes a lot of sense, right? It makes sense that you would be able to use a workshop and use this as a settlement when you help them out. Doesn't that... I mean, it just does. It just makes sense to me. Now, there is some basic workshop stuff here. Obviously, they care a lot about power armor and stuff here. Uh... I'm going to turn the radio off just so I don't get in trouble for that. I don't even know where the workshop is. Can I, I mean, I imagine I could just open it right away because it says I can work, use it. I don't know if there's actually, like, an official workbench. You can actually go in here and, like, you know, scrap all the things, do all the stuff, customize the Adam Katz garage to your liking. Now, I'm not going to mess with it too much because I don't really want to mess with things too much, but I did want to show off that there's apparently a repair feature here. Now, it does count as a settlement. There's a happiness. There's a certain amount of people here. They have no food growing here. I don't know how the Adam Katz are making it in the first place. I guess off a trade, right? But... We can repair with glass and steel here. Now I need a workbench where I could store my stuff. I wonder if it like 
if there's specifically a spot I'm gonna look around a little bit like that they've added things in here I don't really recognize this as a place too much because like you do this as a quest and then you're just kind of done with it here normally you don't have this much interactivity with it um, like I don't is there a workbench in here at all like a like there should be some basic workbenches for sure right there's beds they at least have beds for themselves right that's kind of nifty right good good job on you guys for having beds um, no food though there is a workshop. There's put it in here. So if I go into my um, cheat terminal portable here real quick, I'm going to cheat a little bit just for the expediting the video in this. I'm going to get myself a bunch of materials so I can craft things, right? Like um, I'll get myself some items. I'm going to crafting here. I will give a little bit of everything. So if I access this now, I can store all that junk and then I can show off that you can actually even with this mod repair the red rocket gas station and stuff around here so we can go in here open up the settlement menu and then you can hit repair on this plank here and then it will repair the whole red rocket gas station so obviously the letters are no longer falling off um, things should be in better shape now there's a dead gunner here that's a thing it happens uh, but this this is like got glass in the windows and stuff the thing is repaired without actually messing with stuff too much uh, now it doesn't do a huge amount to repair this gas station. I don't know if there's anything else we can repair. I have to look into that in a second here. Um, but you can get rid of this car. I'm not gonna get rid of anything. Oh, we repair. Like there's definitely more stuff in here because, like, around here, right? Like, I'm trying to see if there's anything else to repair. Really, right? You could scrap all this stuff. I don't want the radio, right? Like you could do that. You're allowed to. You're allowed to get rid of the stuff, right? Like I don't want this engine. I bet there's like a good. You could scrap all this stuff. Like obviously it's part of their their charm and their thing, but it's your settlement now. You're the boss of this bitch, right? Like, you can fucking do whatever you want with the Adam Cats, which makes just a lot of sense. I think, fundamentally, as a settlement location, it's just, it's just like, almost designed that way. You're like, go help some people. It should be your settlement, right? You have a lot of people around here in power armor. This guy's assigned to defense, right? Like, it just, and all these settlers are supposed to work. Like, they just should function, right? That person's assigned to a store, right? I guess they're just their own independent store, technically, but they're a store. Obviously, I need to get some food going if I really want this to be a settlement. This guy's assigned to this liquor station here, which has, like, got its own setup and things. I need these radios gone, though, just so I don't get in trouble for any of that shit. Um, but, yeah, you could customize this, get rid of all these tires. Like, it seems like a lot of this stuff is scrappable and stuff, too. Oh, the fire, right, the fences. I mean, I wonder if the settlement does go out quite a ways here, too, right? I got to get rid of another radio. Um, sorry, guys, we can't listen to bangers and jams. We can go all the way out here. Can we scrap this up? We can. Like, can I get the billboard, maybe? the billboard even like you can get you can go pretty far out here this is a fairly large settlement i would say um there's some flower right there um get rid of these bushes right like you got a lot of customization in terms of the stuff you can scrap in here too obviously you got roof access up here too you can get rid of all that if you wanted to the dumpster the cars all the things it is heavy raining now um you could put some turrets up here or whatever. I, you know, that's probably the way to go on that or you could do other cool interesting things with that you can't actually keep going up oh, there's like an invisible thing what is my invisible wall right here I'm mean, running into something, but you can get up here, right? And you could definitely put some turrets up here. You could make this your whole actual base, and it's it's not maybe the most centralized of locations, right? Like, um, obviously something we we've, we've talked about this before, but like something like Hangman's Alley is kind of the most centralized location. This is kind of far and away out down here to the south, uh, but it is like a really cool spot to potentially build a base at. And the fact that you can now with a simple mod, and then on top of that, even repair the red rocket so it looks even nicer. You got those string lights there, all the things. Uh, nice open sign it's got a vibe to it right the Adam cats is one of the coolest like factions in the game that really don't have anything besides that quest that we kind of showed off right where the gunners jump them oh no we got to help them and then like they're like oh you're a cool dog and then that's it normally the fact that you actually can turn this into a settlement makes a lot of sense um you guys you have the support of these guys this guy's a defensive thing right so we do have defense we'd have to get some people going you could bring new settlers in you could do like a, a beacon and all that stuff you could definitely make this into a really cool settlement you know, you could customize it. Like, that little chunk of car, that get rid of that. That's not doing anything. But, like, you could do whatever you want to do with it, right? Because it's very... Like, every little bit of this thing, it seems to be scrappable, changeable, right? Maybe not every bit. I think these stairs are not... Um, there's trash on the floor. You could get rid of that, right? Um, it's all wired up for power and stuff, right? Like, this forklift you don't need. All these cars and stuff, if you wanted to get rid of them, build more, you know, houses... Start housing more settlers. Make this your main settlement. You definitely could because it's very large. It's a huge settlement. Very cool with that cool basic repair feature on the red rocket. So you can repair that to be, you know, like have a functioning working door. Uh, I imagine this this would all work too. Like if I hit this button, it's going to go. Right? You can close that up if you want to. Rowdy's working on things. But yeah, you could do very cool things with this settlement. Like, and it just makes sense. I think to me, it just is a, is a fact of life. Like, this should be a settlement. Firelight in there. 
Um, but this this is now a settlement. Now, I'm gonna make the, the weather clear here real quick because I just want to show it off nicely. Even though the rain does is a vibe, I think the rain is a vibe. But you know, for the purpose of videos, it's always better to be clear. Um, some nice clear weather here. But yeah, this is this little settlement. It doesn't show up as a settlement icon on your map here. It's still the Adam Katz Garage, but it does give you the the six settlers there. They're fifty percent happy. It just it just works too. Like I was really concerned. They did talk specifically. The mod author talked about how it's very important to them that they got these people to work as settlers um, in your settlement. So I, if I want Duke here, the power armor guy, to be a farmer, I could make him do that, <laughs> right? Like, I could be like, "Hey, yo, dude, you're gonna farm stuff for me, and you can get rid of all this stuff." Um, obviously, the red rocket you can't really get rid of, but that's like the main functional building here. It's a big old settlement. I don't want this car. I don't want these things, right? Like, you, I could build turrets all the way out here. Like, this almost goes all like all the way out to the edge of the beach. Here. This is a very large settlement. I could build stuff all the way out here. Outside of the main Adams Cats base, I was expecting this to be a lot smaller too. It's a very cool mod. Very like maybe not the most you know functionally engaging because you know I don't know if you need to necessarily a settlement here, especially in something like survival mode. It's a little bit out of the way, but it's always better to have more settlements than less. I imagine. I just really want to show the board off here. Look, I mean, you can go way out here. This is a lot of fucking space here. Um, but not only is a lot of space, it just makes sense, right? To me, in my head, this is just something that should have been in the base game. You should have the option to. The second you complete their quest, if they're like, hey, yo, you're one of us now. You're, you're cool with us. I'm getting stuck on the garage door. Um, but it does make sense that it's your settlement. You can start crafting stuff with it. They ally themselves to you. They're essentially like another member of the Minutemen. Get rid of the lawn flamingo. But you can get rid of all this stuff. Like the sign, all the little things. It's very, like even the debris here, right? There's lots of little things you can get rid of. You can customize this a lot. I'm not going to mess with it too much. But I do think it's very cool that this has become a settlement. With that immersive repair function on that thing where you can repair the red rocket make it look like a brand new or as brand new as you possibly can it's still got some rust in obviously it's you know been through some shit but like it's repaired the, the sign is repaired things look nice um i think it's it's cool it's very cool i like this i like this location a lot i think it's got a lot of character a lot of personality and i think it makes a great settlement you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section down below are you going to check out the adam cats garage settlement it, it makes sense to me um if you do want to check out this mod for yourselves, make sure to check out the top link in the description. There'll be linked up to the Bethesda on that page or the Nexus mod page. You can download this mod for yourselves there. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe that we can check out more videos than me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day. Or it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.